This is a really remarkable maths challenge question. We're going to do everything without a calculator and there are loads of really nice maths challenge tricks wrapped up in here, so pay attention. We're told that the perimeter of this pentagon combined of three triangles, so just the perimeter of the outer edges is 188. We've got a few lengths given and we want to find the total area of the shape. The first step is to fill in some of these inside lengths. So if we label this one x, then by Pythagoras theorem, we have that x squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 9 plus 16, or 25, which is 5 squared, and so x equals 5. That's one of the famous Pythagorean triples, 3, 4, 5. Once we've got that length, we could label this one y, and we've got another right angle triangle. So again, Pythagoras theorem tells us y squared equals 5 squared plus 12 squared, which is 25 plus 144, or 169, which is 13 squared, and so y is 13, another one of the famous Pythagorean triples, 5, 12, 13. Here's where it gets a bit tricky, because in this final right angle triangle, we only know one of the lengths, the 13, but we want to say something about the perimeter of the whole shape. So let's call the hypotenuse the longest side of that biggest right angle triangle x, and the other side a, then we'll have 13 squared plus a squared equals x squared by Pythagoras theorem, and so we get that a equals the square root of x squared minus 13 squared is the other side of the triangle. That means we can now write down an expression for the perimeter, 4 plus 3 plus 12 plus the square root of x squared minus 13 squared plus x equals 188. We can rearrange that to give the square root of x squared minus 13 squared equals 169 minus x. And next we'd want to square both sides of the equation. We've got to be careful when we square the right hand side to do the double bracket expansion a minus b squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Here we'll have a is 169 or 13 squared and b is x. You'll see why I want to leave it as 13 squared in a second. So when we multiply out we get 13 squared squared which we'll write as 13 to the 4 in a second plus x squared minus 2 times 13 squared times x. I hope you can tell the difference between my times and my x's here. Now this is quite nice because there's an x squared on each side of the equation. We can subtract x squared from each side and we're actually left with a linear equation even though the coefficients look a little bit complicated. But in fact we can see that there is a common factor of 13 squared all the way through the terms in this equation. If I divide minus 13 squared by 13 squared I get minus 1. 13 to the 4 divided by 13 squared just leaves me with 13 squared and if I divide the final term 2 times 13 squared times x by 13 squared, I'll just be left with 2x. So we have quite an easy equation that gives us 2x equals 170 or x equals 85. Now I said at the start we're going to do this as a non-calculator question. So to work out the length of the side, the square root of x squared minus 13 squared, we want to substitute in what we know as x, which is 85, and think about the square root of 85 squared minus 13 squared. Now 85 squared minus 13 squared is a difference of two squares expression. The difference of two squares tells us that a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. So 85 squared minus 13 squared is 85 plus 13 times 85 minus 13. That's 98 times 72. I'm going to use another sneaky trick to work out the square root of 98 times 72 really easily. So 98 is 2 times 49. I'm noticing this because 49 is a square number, 7 squared, and 82 is 8 times 9. So I can actually write this as the square root of 9 times 16 times 49, or the square root of 3 squared times 4 squared times 7 squared. So that just gives me then 3 times 4 times 7, which we can work out easily as 84. So we've done the hard part of this question, and now we've just got to work out the area of the shape, which we can do using the fact that the area of a triangle is a half base times height, and adding these three different triangles together. So being careful to make sure we use the perpendicular sides in the formula, the large triangle's area would be a half times 13 times 84, the middle one would be a half times 5 times 12, and the last one would be a half times 3 times 4. So we're going to add all those together, and we're going to get 42 times 13, plus a half of 60, which is 30, and a half of 12 is 6. Doing this without a calculator, we can say 42 lots of 13 is 42 times 10, which is 420, and 42 times 3, which is 126. So if we add all those together, we get our final answer here, which is 582. And if you enjoyed that problem, check out one of my free maths challenge preparation courses over at courses.mathstorus.com.